Hi, this is Ed LaFlamme, head harvester from the East Coast. Head harvester Bill Arman from the West Coast. Today's topic is owners, leaders, supervisors don't avoid conflict. Yes, that's a big problem because in companies, Bill, they don't they don't talk things out. They have conflict, and the, and the owners don't want to confront. So they go them. silent. It goes silent. Yes. They have this all this angst in there. So you need to. We'll have open dialogue, spirit of inquiry, as we say, Peter yes. Sengi would say, right? Yes. Open and spirited dialogue. Yes. You're not attacking the person, but you attack the situation. Yes. Okay, so here's what we see a lot of. Owners just put their head in the sand and they avoid confrontation. You know, we don't really like that, but it's healthy if it's done properly, yeah. right? But it is uncomfortable. So people avoid these, it's frustration, it's, it's just tough to deal with. And it has a, it can, if you don't deal with conflict, you avoid it. You know what's going to happen? Productivity right. just drops like a like a stone, right? Yeah. People will leave. Yeah. You know, they just don't feel good about the organization. Produce a very negative culture. So don't avoid conflict. Absolutely. You know, <clears throat> owners, you have to just deal with it. Have the courage to deal with it. Just like Bill was just saying. If you don't the conflict grows. It doesn't go away. Trust me, when I had my company, I experienced it myself, and I'm guilty as charged. I mean, a lot of times I tried to avoid it too because I, I feared that confrontation too because of the key. I didn't want to get my key people upset, right? I didn't want them to leave. You can't do that. You have to deal with it. Uh, when you have meetings, if, if you have conflict at meetings, conflicting views, you have to acknowledge it and thank them for it and let them go at mm -hmm. it. Let them, you know, talk about their point, each, each person's point of view, hear it out because then you're going to get the truth. Because what you don't want to have happen is just have things pass through. They go up, they leave the meeting and then you have one person saying, I'm not going to do that. Is he crazy or something? Then they start talking to all the people in the company and they get this big negative thing going on mm -hmm. and it doesn't work. What you want to do is strive for candor. Now, candor really means like an openness, a frankness. Uh, that's one of the things that Welch, Jack Welch said in his book, Winning, that you need to have that. But in order to have that, you have to have trust. Mm -hmm. You have to have trust within your group that you're not going to badmouth each other or you know, talk bad about each other when you leave the meeting. See, you have to be trusted that that's not going to happen. And that's, that has to be clearly understood that that's not going to happen. And then with that candor, you can have tremendous progress because you're not going to make the mistakes you could make you if you didn't have it. Okay, so listen, owners, you need to deal with conflict. Yes. And here's the results you're going to have to deal with it. You deal with it in a positive way, right? You're going to have harmony within your organization. Team Harmony is a healthy organization. That's a productive organization. You're going to be able to grow faster. You're going to have loyalty with your, not only with your employees, but with your customers. And guess what with profits? They're going to go up. So sum it up here. Yep. Don't avoid conflict. Absolutely. You might even, it. we call it, one of them used to call it the 600 pound gorilla in the room. All right, you know, right. There's usually one in every, every company. Absolutely. What's your 600 pound gorilla? Don't avoid that conflict. Get it resolved. This is Head Harvester Bill Arm from the West Coast. And Head Harvester Ed LaFlan from the East Coast. Now, wait a minute. Wait, now, listen. We we have to, we have I think to my opinion sure. is stronger than no, your opinion. No, no, I think no, the we idea have to get this thing straight. Harvest group. Now, I, listen, I don't want to go to that, that place. We're going to go right over that we just talked about because there's no way it's going to happen. So, you need to